What's going on guys? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And I'm about to take you for a test drive in a 1971 C10. Let's go for a ride. All right guys, getting ready to take off, go down the road. So a little 71 C10 here. I'll let you know anything that I see that don't work. Uh, I'll play around with everything in here and see what we got. Ignition's a little stiff. Eh, it was on the first, it's probably original key. Uh, it's been sitting here running for a second. The temperature gauge started coming up. Oil pressure's working. Uh, I'm not seeing nothing happen on the battery gauge. Definitely gonna stop and put some gas in it because the gas gauge is just maxed out to the full. It says 79,000 miles, so we're about to find out if that still turns over. Check, make sure that it really can. say it's unhooked because it's maxed all the way out to full. I definitely want to put some gas in it. The uh, odometer is working. It's turning over. That radio, I don't think it's going to work. These knobs don't feel very it's starting to work. I'm just spinning in there though. None of the air controls work either. I'm gonna pull up in this gas station and get some gas. That way I know there's something in here. Up here at the gas station, I'm throwing about $20 in the tank. I know the gas gauge is not going to work, but I want to know that there's gas in it. If the gas gauge moves at all anymore, I'll let you know. So once I started it up, the gas gauge went from over here to back up to there. So I, it's moving when you put gas in it. I just don't know how much we can trust it. Shifter's a little tight, so you gotta pull in from the top. Seems to be all right if you do it that way. We'll roll down this window over here. Cause I got y'all in my other window.
don't have a kick down hooked up, the passing gear. slack in the steering as soon as I turn it turns does pull to the right just a hair the horn doesn't work turn signal clicking it's definitely been lowered you can fill it in the suspension I do appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please share or subscribe if you haven't already. I've also got a whole car lot full of muscle cars, classic trucks. We post them online every single day. So check that out. That's on maplemotors.com. Definitely go there. I got a hundred detailed pictures of every car on the lot. Um, if you want to talk to somebody on the phone, we're all family. You can speak to any of us. My name is Nick, 615-822-822. 4444. Please check that out. I also got a walk around video that I'm going to post at the end of this video. You can click on it. It should be at the bottom right of the screen. If you go up to the bottom left, it's the subscribe button. You can hit it and subscribe to the page and get notified every time I post a vehicle or a car or a truck. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks again, guys.